Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, indexes and we this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, 12th of October 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Um, yes, so we're going to look at the S&P 500 and on Friday session, we rallied quite significantly. We gapped up and then we rallied all the way to 3,477. And at this point, we are most likely going to go to these highs. Um, even though there's not going to be uh, additional stimulus before uh, the United States election. Uh, so we may see a pullback from here towards the 50 moving average. Um, it will definitely be support and we'll mostly bounce from there. So. And now it is mostly every single pullback where it's a buying opportunity for this market. So we are quite overstretched at this point. So there is most likely going to be a pullback towards the 50 moving average. And then we go, go higher from here. The technical indicators for uh, the, the S&P 500 are looking really promising. Uh, we have the... We have the MACD here, way above the signal line. We have the RS, uh, RSI, it is at 67 uh, at the moment, so it's almost overbought. However, before we broke down, we were at 92, so there's a lot of room to uh, to to uh, maneuver in. So the stochastic is uh, it's very bullish, and the Bollinger Band, it is basically at the top of the Bollinger Band at the moment. So. We may see a pullback. We did see the United, uh, the U.S. dollar index uh, depreciate on Friday quite significantly, and it will most likely uh, continue um, decreasing, say depreciating, and um, that of course is usually a positive sign also for uh, the stocks and also the indexes. Um, however, I do expect a pullback towards the 50 moving average before we ever get to. Uh, these high. If we were to break down, then we have the first of all 50, 2, and 40, uh, 20, and the 40 exponential moving average underneath. And if we were to break through that, then we have the 100 um, the moving average underneath, which was previous uh, support. So we look at the Dow Jones. We can see that we also rallied on Friday. However, the Dow Jones gave it back some of its gain. At the moment, we are trading at uh, 28,586. Uh, the technical indicators for the Dow Jones are all extremely uh, bullish at this point. Uh, MACD is way above the signal line. RSI, it is at 69, so it is almost over. Uh, but um when we broke down here we were at 80 and 70 70 uh, 78 so yeah we may see a pullback towards the the, uh, the 50 moving average before we go to these highs a breakdown below this 50 moving average will open up the way for this uh, uh, move to the 100 um moving average which has 26,923 at this point otherwise yes expect a pullback and then higher um, at this moment pullbacks are buying opportunities so look at the nasdaq the nasdaq also fairly uh, very bullish on on friday and uh, at this point, we are most long, likely going to to uh, twelve thousand four hundred or twelve thousand five hundred. Um, at this point, uh, pullbacks are buying opportunity. It, we saw that we uh, pulled back on uh, it was on on Thursday's session, and the the forty exponential forty exponential moving average was significant resistance back in, even though Donald Trump. Um, Technically, could have taken down the uh, the economy or on with his tweet. We saw that this market was very resilient at this point, and uh, we bounced from there. So it's 
that it has to be a lot of bad news in order to go through this. We technically have to have another shutdown for this market to 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 collapse again. So at this point, we are quite overstretched. It, I don't it doesn't it would seem um, impossible to just go straight to twelve thousand five hundred at this point. So we technically need a pullback. So we'll gradually grind uh, grind higher. Technical indicators are looking just fine. Uh, the we are not overbought at this point, and the stochastic is uh, is it's looking really bullish, and so is the is the MACD. So every pullback buying opportunity and uh, for from now on. Um, there is concern though the the majority leader of the Senate, Mitch McConnell has uh, come on on I believe it was on Friday and said that that there will be no additional stimulus or highly unlikely there will be additional stimulus before the United States election. So that news came out on Friday and it doesn't seem that the market reacted on that. So it may well be that it will react uh, on that news on Monday. So just have that in mind. We may see a, a major pullback on Monday and then we can probably go higher from there. So if you see, if you will like these videos, you're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.